how they're going tonight, probably how they're going today if you're watching this, uh, depending on when you are. We got a really solid team. I don't know if I like it better than last year's team. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, is it better? I'm not too sure. It all depends on Galchenyuk and Gujo. Are they going to produce? We do have a little bit more of a defensive-minded team, so I think that should prompt them to get more points. I'd like to see them have a 70, 80-point season. I really would. I guess I'm going to scout forward. We do have a first-round pick from trading away Nikolai Ellers. I don't know what we're going to get out of that. I mean, depending on what pick it is, right? We don't know how it's going to end up. But we did trade him to a hopeful team in Calgary, so they might make the playoffs. Most likely they will. Going to get through the preseason. Obviously, it's not a good indicator of what your team's going to be because teams play the AHL players. So, But it's nice to see. Uh, yeah, I, I hate this. I hate how you have to take everything away from advertising and promotion and give it to arena options just so you can pay off your your team. It's almost at max. Okay, if if we cannot maintain all of our arena operations throughout the playoffs when it's damn near max, I don't know how, how we're going to do it, right? Even We should be able to. If we can't do it this year, I really am starting to not like the new franchise mode system because that's crazy. I do like the fact that you can set prices and stuff, but now that we are making money, it's damn near max. We should be able to keep everything going. So, um, amateurs, so a good year for rookies. We probably will be able to pick up a top six forward in the draft, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, with our salary cap compliant. Here we go. Okay, yeah, we, we do have to maintain a few right now. I'm gonna wait till game night. Why would I do it in the preseason? Screw you. If you want to pay to come to preseason games, be my guest, but they don't matter at all. Let's go to upgrade and maintain team store maintenance. I don't know what I even have to maintain, to be honest. Holy shit, that's 30. <laughs> okay, I definitely have to do that. I'm gonna do concessions while I'm at it. Anything else I gotta do? I got to do bathrooms, executive suites, and lower bowl in probably two to three weeks, I'm guessing. I want to get to the draft. Or not the draft. I want to get to the deadline in this episode. Hopefully I can. It shouldn't take... I mean, the only thing I'm going to be doing is roster changes, really. Um, evaluated past... What? Oh, the opener. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have just played it. Okay, that's good. I forgot about that. I should have just played the game to make sure we won. But we do win. That's good. We won 5-3. to three. We win 4-2. to two. And then we do back-to-backs. Um, Anisimov? No, I'm not making any trades. I, chemistry that in 83. We had it at like an 89 last year. I did make a lot of changes. We're probably going to have to make another change after this season. Because Bergeron might be on the decline. I do know he's slow. He is slow. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem because he's on the fourth line. He's going to be there to take face off, and he's on the penalty kill. You don't. I mean, it is a simulation at the end of the day. I don't think it's going to matter too much. I don't think speed really affects it in any way. He's on the penalty kill, though. You don't really need to have amazing speed on the penalty kill. I really hope Huso can have a great season, though. I don't want him to drop back down. That's, I'm, it's going to be really interesting to see how he performs. Or not how he performs, how his overall is. I mean, we got a great team, a great defensive core. We got Brodeen at a 90, Tanev at an 87. We got two 86s on the second line pairing, and then an 85 in Slavin with the elite potential Granado. Hopefully, he can get to 83 by the end of the season, even if it's just because of a morale boost. I'll be happy with that. We're doing great on back-to-backs, apparently. That's great to see. We have lost some games, like 7-1, to 6-1. to one. I'm, I'm going to put that on the backup, though. Uh, Bo Horvath's injured only for a few games. Shouldn't be that bad. Okay, Horvath is fixed. I don't know how much... I'm guessing he's going to be out for two to three more games. We did win against Los Angeles. We come back with a big loss against Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, we're, we have a lot of low scoring games but for some reason we're losing a lot of 7 to 1 5 to 1 it seems like Bo Horvat is back and he comes back with a loss the team's not playing excellent right now I'm not going to get too overworked we saw what happened last year we we pulled a we pulled a Washington Capitals type move president's trophy and get swept in the first round granted they got out in the second but same scenario I just want to make the playoffs home ice advantage is great but 
Does it do anything in simulation? I don't think so. There's been no indication ever that it does anything. For storyline purposes, yeah, I love it. But in all reality, I, I want to win a cup. We just need to make the playoffs. Get there and go from there. We're getting on a bit of a win streak. That's good. If we win the President's Trophy, great. But I'm not going to be mad if we don't get it. I do want to finish, like, top five in the conference at least. Like, at least is what I'm thinking. We better because... Uh, Olet, AHL, that's fine. If if we don't, then we are going to have to play the be better team. That is one thing. I, I want to get in the top four just so we don't have to play the best teams right away. I'd like to I'd like to meet him in the conference final. What do I got to upgrade here? Bathrooms, okay. Yeah, look at this. Like we're already not even midway, and we're almost down to around two million. After these, I got to maintain this. Repair that, repair the upper bowl. Damn, we're like at 2 million already. We gotta do club seats. Look at this shit! We're at 2 million already, and in a week we're gonna have to do both of the parking lots. Ridiculous. I don't know how you're supposed to maintain. And it's not about making money, because right now we're at max, almost, in terms of how much we can give to it. I, I don't know what to do. Do you just let it be bad until the playoffs if you make it? I have no idea. Happiness is at 100. I'm not too sure why. We got swept. I don't know why it would be so high. Chemistry that an 85. That's good. Anisimov. I'm not getting Anisimov. No, thank you. I'm not making any trades. Goudreau's been injured. He's only going to be injured for a few games. That is good. I'm going to replace the player. Um, Olet, that's the AHL team. Whatever. We're doing good, though. Keep it up, Montreal. Just keep, like, a 2-1 to one win ratio. I, I don't need a 3-1, to 4-1. to one. I don't need another 55 win season. Save it for the playoffs. Coast it out. Pull a LeBron and just coast through the season. Please. Okay. Yeah. We're 500 team right now. Goudreau's back in. That's good. McGillis will probably just be the guy to fill in. Gauthier is actually at an 84 now. He had top 9 potential, but it's low. And he randomly jumped up to an 83 in the offseason at an 84 now. I don't know what's up with him, but I like it. We better make the playoffs. Come on. You, like, you guys got to win games here. If we don't make the playoffs, holy shit. Because in terms of my plan, what do we got now? This year and next year to win it all. So we have to make the conference finals right now. Well, if we're going to... It's, it's really going to be make or break next year. If we don't win the Stanley Cup by next year, I'm, I'm getting fired. I, I'm really going to get fired if we don't win a Stanley Cup within the next two years. We got Slavin now. We finally have a starting goaltender. I'm not going to get too worked up about the regular season. I'm not. We got a playoff team. The only question, Goudreau and Gelchenyuk. I don't know what to do to get him going. I might, if we get there, when we get there. If they don't score in the first two games, I'm going to split them up on different lines. I don't know how to get them going. They've been absolute garbage in the playoffs so far. We're doing good, though. 21, 12, and 3. Just, if you're going to lose, lose in overtime, please. Uh, I don't even know who Clutterbuck is. Okay. Yeah, I, at the beginning of the season, I made sure to get the AHL lines all good. As soon as injuries come, I, I can't be bothered. Injuries are bad enough to deal with on the a NHL team. Look at that. Now we have to do the parking lot again. Ay, ay, ay. I, I, we're going to be at 2 million already. Damn near midway through the season. This is crazy. Yeah, it's already at 60. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to be at 2 million, I think. Okay, we'll be at around 2.5. I have to do team store again. So now we're at 2.2. Hopefully these can stay till like two weeks till the playoffs. Come on. You guys, the owner, can you just give me more money, please? I need more money. We can't even allocate any to advertising and all that. We do sell out. Luckily, we're not a, a team like Florida. Oh my, I couldn't imagine doing Florida in the game. I really couldn't. That would be a, that would drive me crazy, not having the money. Tan has been injured. Uh, okay. That's not the best, but I'm going to see how we do without him. He should only miss three games. Yeah, he's available to play again. Perfect. We did lose one without him. Not the greatest. Uh, McGillis is in there. Oh well, he needs his ice time. He needs his ice time. Tanev, get back in there. Look at the defensive core. Tell me that's not Stanley Cup bound. Granato, and if Granato could get to an 83, he's, he's 24 years old. Yeah, he's going to be a bust. 
But if he can just grow to top three, Tanev's injured again. What the hell, Tanev? God damn it, don't become injury prone like fucking Price. Please don't. That drove me crazy, Carey Price. Tanev's available to play again. I am going to play him again. I am going to put him back in. I don't think he'll get injured again. If he does... Ah, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. He had an 87. I don't, like, is there even a thing of injury prone? I want to say yes because of Carey Price and how much of a clutch he, w a clutch he was. I don't know if that's actually a thing. I know if you put him in too early, they have a chance to get injured again, but I don't think they can actually develop injuries. Like, in NBA, you can. I don't, I don't think you can in this game. Oh my god, fucking, come on, guys. Okay, Goudreau, Goudreau is available to play again. That's great. Shit. I'm going to take a look at stats right now. We really are just coasting through the season right now. Stop the simulation. Don't simulate Boston, please. Come on. Don't do this to me, game. Ah, shit, fuck you. Oh, we won, we won. 28, 18, and 3. Not bad. I think we're going to be third in the division. Fourth. Okay. One game behind Toronto. That is okay, yeah. We definitely separated ourselves from Tampa. So we're definitely going to make the playoffs. If we don't, then I'm going to have such a big rage quit. Oh, my LeMail! Thank you. I really appreciate you being the leader in the team. Let's take a look. Uh, where's fucking Radulov? 30 points in 50 games. At 79 overall. What a beast. I love this guy. No homo, I love him. Okay. Uh, we already got a 20 goal score in Gallagher, so putting him up on that top line really is paying off, it looks like. LaMail's got, gonna get 20 goals, that's good to see. Hoodle's doing great. Where is Galchenyuk and Goudreau? So they're both hovering around 25 to 30 points. That's, that's okay. They, ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, when I got Goudreau, I was thinking of he would be the perfect complement because he's the same type of player. Maybe that's not the case. We put a totally different type of guy in Gallagher on the line, and look how that worked out. I want to check out Husserl, though. My bad. Let me go to all skaters. Let me go to goalies. I hope he's having a real good season. 2.18 and .92. He's doing better than Price. 87 overall. Thank you. I finally have a goalie that's actually playing good. I don't even remember why we got him. I think we drafted him, and he ended up being a bust. He ain't a bust no more, that's for sure. 2.7 goals for and 2.4 goals against. 22 power play and only 80 penalty kill. Okay, I'm going to change up the penalty kill. That might be the only thing holding us back from another President's Trophy. I'd like to get another President's Trophy just to get the confidence of the guys up. I really would. Let's go to penalty kill, though. What do I have right now? So, Eakin, he's at an 86. What the fuck? I'm keeping him there. That's weird. Bourgeois, I'm keeping Bourgeois. He's not coming off. Gauthier, look, I don't know why the penalty kill doing bad. I do not understand it. I don't think... I'm going to keep it for now. That shouldn't be doing bad. And don't don't tell me it's uh, the speed of Bourgeois. That that cannot affect the penalty kill that much. It just can't. I'm going to I'm going to let it, I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to ride it out till the deadline. Hopefully I can see it get to around an 82, 81 is what I'd like to see. I just need to see improvement. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I, I don't, I like the penalty kill we have. I don't know what else I could do to it. I'm not going to put Galchenyuk there because so far, knock on wood, he's been great uh, with injuries. So I'm, I'm not going to put him on the penalty kill. I just keep it up, guys. We all coasting. I'm fine though. I'm fine. Just, just keep, get a top four position. That's all I ask. Or, or five. Top four to five. Top five position would be great. Eakin's injured. Good thing we have a grinder to replace him. McGillis really is a great replacement guy, though. He's a good depth guy, for sure. Uh, Wayne Simmons. People like Piper. I don't even know who Piper is. I'm going to check out to see who he is, but we're doing good. We're doing good. I'd like to see a little bit of a win streak right now. Shootout loss. That's fine. Get on, like, a three-game win streak. Win, win the next three out of four, please. Only... I swear, I knocked on wood. I promise you. Yeah, check out this Mario Garcia guy. Defense is great. Physical is great. He doesn't have great aggressiveness, which is great because he's not taking a lot of penalties, I don't think. Only 20 minutes. 
Uh, probably a bit of fighting, which is all right with me. Skating's amazing. His shot's even decent. He's even got decent puck skills. I love him. L like, where have you been? I didn't. I didn't even know we had a guy like you on the team. That is crazy. I mean, crazy good. Lemaire's playing first line. Well, okay, he's available to play perfect. Yeah, Lemaire's playing top line. Well. Uh, what's his face is out. I can't Galchenyuk, god damn it. McGillis, you're gonna come out again. Yeah, McGillis is doing fine, it looks like. He's not too mad about the limited ice time. That's fine. I I'm okay with that. The team's doing good. Again, I'm not going to overthink it. Just win two out of the next three games. Beat Washington. Oh my god! We shouldn't have any more injuries, uh, Van Riemsdyk, no thank you. We did beat Washington, we lost in a shootout, come on, win against Ottawa, ah. I, I would have liked to see that win against Ottawa, it is what it is. So we're at the deadline, I don't think I'm gonna make any line changes. Let me know if I, uh, I mean any trades, I could, I don't think I'm going to, I like the team we have. Let me just check out stats one last time, we can hold another meeting. That is great. Let me just make Lameo still leading the team. Oh shit, what am I going here for? I don't I don't I don't need to see this. Yeah, Radulov's 0.5 points a game again. Unreal. With Montreal. So let's check it out. Yeah, it did go up to 80. I'm gonna leave it how it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it time to grow. Hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next episode, we're gonna get the season done, and then it's off to the playoffs. If we get eliminated in the first or second round, I am going to absolutely lose my mind.